when you're dealing with action films, you have to view it as a piece of music. And so you want the crescendos in the right place. And you can't not have those. So the quiet moments essentially start to be influenced by the loud moments, even if they might seem more interesting or so forth. It's, it's very easy with action cinema to be dismissive of, of the fireworks, in other words. But they are doing something. They do something powerful, and you get to use that. I mean, I mean not unlike something I learned from um, Al Pacino when, when we were doing Insomnia together, is he would do a take where he would go very big with something, very large, quite over the top, you know, shouting and so forth. And what he explained to me, and it turned out to be incredibly accurate and true, is that he would create a sort of peak of energy so that a minute or two later he would hit something very, very perfect in the quieter moment that follows it. It was a fascinating thing with, with technique, and I, I think when you apply it to the way an audience experiences a large action film, you have to really try and be mindful of where those crescendos are coming and what they're going to mean to the, the feel of the, the quiet scene that follows.